Hey everybody, Justin here. Thank you for checking out this video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about some finance stuff, uh, namely um, copper, uh, copper bullion, copper coins. And um, yeah, it's a rainy day. I'm just sitting in the car, kind of chilling out at a McDonald's. It's very rainy. Going to get really cold in the DC metro area. It's um, just the start of February here, at 2023. Anyways, where I was going with that is um, what made me do this video is, yeah, I went to McDonald's, just, you know, got a soda, got some change, and it started me thinking again of saving, um, or, or I, I've never stopped doing it, but starting to tell people to, you know, start saving your copper coins. Why is that? Copper, first of all, it's not a precious metal like gold or silver, or platinum, palladium, but, so it's considered a base metal, but that can change. I mean... You know, copper is needed for, obviously, lots of industry for electronics. Um, nickel, too, for that matter. But there's been uh, Canada, I don't know if any other countries, but, you know, to get rid of their, their pennies, get rid of the copper pennies. And in the United States, you know, if a penny 1982 or before is copper, or, you know, 95% copper, whatever it is. And then after that, it's you know, only like it has like a copper jacket and the rest of the inside is zinc, you know, because zinc is cheaper. So I think it's good that to save, you know, save copper pennies, save nickels, because nickels have a lot of copper content in them. Because while it may be a base metal now, it, you know, they're kind of, um, you know, it's used so much in electronics and also pennies most likely would go away is my guess. So here I have... You know, just some change from the meal today I wanted to show you, or the meal, the soda. <laughs> so I had some more pennies from it, but, you know, 1975, 70, another 75, 77, and two nickels. And I'll just, you know, when I get home, I'll simply just put these in a, um, in a container I have in the shed or one in the house, you know, a big, like, five-gallon bucket, and just keep filling it up. Because right now, you know, each of these, you know, have face value, of course, of one cent, one cent, one cent, five cent, five cent. But then if you add the metal value to these, I mean, I think uh, currently you're looking probably at, you know, two cents or a little over per penny and about like, I think roughly eight cents or seven point something cents for a nickel. So it's kind of like every one of these you save, you're making a small amount of kind of extra money on based on their metal content. So that's my advice. I just wanted to pass it on. And again, it kind of seems silly now to save a bunch of pennies, you know, 1982 or before, or save every nickel. But you never know what the future is going to bring, and this is pretty easy to save. And, you know, maybe in the future, it might not be your future, it might be, uh, you know, your kids or your grandkids. Maybe every one of these pennies might be, you know, 50 bucks. And I know that kind of sounds ridiculous now, but uh, you never know. And in fact, you know, I got a, some pennies from my grandfather recently. These were some old Indian head pennies. So these were the ones before the Lincoln pennies. And there's some of those, and they're not even in, like, really great condition. But there's some of those that are, like, $60 a piece. You know, just based on the rarity, the, the you know, how rare the coin is. I know that's more numismatic value instead of metal content, but nevertheless, that would only, you know, rarity increases even more, you know, and the metal content would just be a kind of a nice bonus to it. And then you have the face value too, which is like another little bonus. But I just wanted to kind of throw this low hanging fruit out there. I mean, this is about as low hanging fruit as you can get in some type of investment, you know, get some pennies, look through them, get every, save every nickel and you're saving money and also you're kind of kind of investing for the future based on the price of metal itself so anyways i just wanted to share that very simple tip and i'll talk to you later bye bye